Welcome to Biology My Passion. I am Soumya Harikrishna. We are learning the chapter Principles of Inheritance and Variations. In the last video, we learned the genetic disorders that also Mendelian disorders in detail. So today, we will be dealing with chromosomal disorders. What are chromosomal disorders? They are actually chromosomal aberrations. Means, some abnormalities happening to our chromosome number may lead to certain disorders. They are collectively called chromosomal disorders. We cannot say that is a disease actually, but it is a condition. Some people are born with that condition, though it is not their fault. This happened when the gametes were forming in their parents' body. Unfortunately, that abnormal gametes with maybe one chromosome extra or one chromosome less fused with the other gamete and resulted in a person with a different number of chromosome than the normal number 46. That leads to certain kind of differences in them, abnormalities in them, defects in them, leading to chromosomal disorders. We are studying three types of chromosomal disorders in this chapter. One is Klinefelter's syndrome, second is Turner's syndrome and third is Down syndrome. The first two are related to sex chromosomes whereas Down syndrome is due to autosomal chromosome. Hope now you are very familiar with autosomes and allosomes, right? Autosomes means what? The 22 pairs of chromosomes. Allosomes are the last one pair determining the sex or the sex chromosomes. So when we talk about chromosomal aberrations or mutations, I have done a detailed video on mutation telling different types of this chromosomal aberrations in detail, their cause and their effect, everything. I will give the link above. And now I will just briefly tell you, it is there are two types of chromosomal uh, abnormalities, euploidy and aneuploidy. We know we all have diploid number of chromosomes, right? 23 pairs. That is our normal number of chromosomes. But if there is a variation, means only one set, where do we have one set? In our gametes. So that is called a haploid condition. So this from normal, one set is less, that is haploid. Or it is more, one set more added, that is 3 type, 3n. Three n is the total number. So 3 into 23 or 4n, four 4 into 23. Like that if it is increasing. That is called a polyploidy, right? That means the whole set of chromosomes are duplicating, right? For example, if you see commercial strawberries, they have 8N, octaploid, means 8 sets of full chromosomes are there, right? That is called a euploidy. But whatever we are learning in this chapter are all due to aneuploidy. Aneuploidy means here may be one more. We have total 46, there will be one chromosome extra. So what will be the total number? 47. The same way there can be one less. It's not only these two conditions but there are many that I have explained in that mutation video. Please watch that to understand. So these all can lead to different abnormalities. Let us discuss them in detail. The first disease that we are going to discuss is Down syndrome or it is otherwise called a Mongolism or Mongolian idiocy. So this is actually an autosomal abnormality or autosomal chromosome has got abnormality in number. Okay. So this was first reported in 1866 by a scientist called a Landon Down. That is why it is called Down syndrome because it is named after the scientist who reported it first. Though he reported, he did not know what was the reason. You know, 1866 means the time of Mendel. That time they had no idea about chromosomes, DNA, gene, etc. Then in 1959, another scientist called Lee Ju, he found out the cause or he and his co-workers explained the cause of this disease. Now, what is the cause of this disease? It is trisomy of 21st chromosome. That means every chromosome we have two, two copies. But when it comes to the 21st place, it is three copies. For example, this is the first, second, like that, 20, 21, 22, right? So the 21st, suppose this is 20, 21, 22. So the 21st, three copies are there instead of two. 
So there will be a total number increase in autosome. So usually there should be 44 autosomes for a normal person. But this Down syndrome person will have 45 autosomes plus X and X if it is a female and 45 plus XY if it is a male. Since it is affecting the autosomal chromosome, it can be found in both male as well as female. So whatever be their total number is 47. Now what is the reason for this disease? What is causing this trisomy? It's nothing but the non-disjunction of chromosome. We know that during anaphase 1, that is meiosis 1, anaphase 1, homologous chromosomes will be coming and pairing at the equator. So the spindle fibers will be pulling one to this side and one to this side, right? But in this case, maybe due to some problem, the spindle is not pulling, both will be pulled to one side. So the one going here will be minus one, but here it will be plus one. So if this gamete happens to fuse with the normal gamete, the total number will be 2n plus 1. So that is resulting in this trisomy or it is called a Down syndrome. So now let us discuss the symptoms of this disease. So these people have a round face. That is why it is called a moon face or Mongolian disease because it resembles them. Then broad forehead, small ears, flattened nasal bridge, open mouth most of the time they keep their mouth open projecting lower lip protruding tongue then skin fold at the corners of their eyes short neck small hands then mental retardation is the characteristic feature they don't have the mental development like normal people or their iq is very low social abilities are very less then underdeveloped gonads and genitals so they may be sterile and uh, most of them have the chance of congenital heart diseases or they may uh, end up in Alzheimer's disease or a leukemia. Usually the chance of occurrence is 1 in 1500 births and who is having the higher risk of getting Down syndrome babies? If the parents are very young, that is below the age of 19, then the chance of this disease in the baby is high. The same way, if mother is getting pregnant at a later stage of her life, that is maybe after 35 or 40 years of age, the risk of Down syndrome is high. The same way, if father's age is also above 49, then he also may get a child with a Down syndrome. So the next disorder we are discussing is Turner syndrome. It is a sex chromosomal abnormality. It is a nuploidy, which is a monosomic condition. That is one chromosome is missing from a female. Usually females have 44 chromosomes autosomes plus one uh, pair of X chromosomes or allosomes but here one X is missing. So it causes due to the fusion of a female gamete or ovum without X chromosome only 22 autosome and a gynosperm from the male with X chromosome. So 22 to and 22 44 autosomes will be there but one X chromosome will be missing. So it is Genetically, it is a female because of the presence of X chromosome or lack of Y chromosome and 1 in 3000 female birth may result in Turner syndrome. Uh, and this was reported by Turner, that's why it is named after him. And the uh, other characteristics of this disease, if we see, uh, limited secondary sexual characters. That means the feminine features are less or the protective related organs are not well developed. Then rudimentary ovaries, ovaries are not well developed or functional since ovaries are not functional menstrual cycle is also not there their pubic hair is also sparse or very less then underdeveloped breast mammary glands also don't develop all these are coming under secondary sexual character then webbed neck that means the neck usually we have like this but these people may have a skin fold here making a webbed neck and they are short statured usually and they have mental retardation also. Uh, this condition can be called as female Turner syndrome because it is a in female. But if it is a Y chromosome only zero means that will not survive. Next is Kleinfelter syndrome. Kleinfelter syndrome is also another sex chromosomal abnormality. Here the individual is considered male because he has got one Y chromosome. Then what is his abnormality? He has one extra X chromosome that is a normal male should be 44 plus XY but these people are 44 plus XXY. The occurrence chance is 1 in 850 births. 
So it can be due to fusion of two different types of gametes. First, androsperm 22 plus Y, but it is fusing with an egg with a 2X chromosome. While it was pulled, both the X chromosomes came to one and that fused. Okay? Or there can be one sperm with both X and Y. They are also non-disjunction but normal ovum. Both these cases, the child will receive 2X and 1Y. Now, what are the characteristics of these people? They have rudimentary testis or undeveloped testis. And also, their external genitalia is also small. Then, they have small prostate gland. That is, accessory gland in male is prostate gland. That is also less. Then, they have sparse body hair. Usually, masculinity means they have more body hair. But here, femininity is more because of one excess extra chromosome, X chromosome. So, they have less hair but shows gynecomastia. Gynecomastia is breast development which is characteristic of female. Then, occasional mental retardation also found in these people. Not necessarily. And uh, apart from this, these are the ones you have to study in your NCRT textbook. Apart from this, there are super females, super males and many other ones are there. I just will mention this super female means triple X syndrome that, that is more common or sometimes 4 or 5 X also can be there. Duplication of chromosome happens. Okay, so they are all mainly mentally, mentally retarded and sterile females. Uh, the occurrence of this birth is 1 by 1200 birth only. Whereas super males is otherwise called a Jacob syndrome. Jacob syndrome is a male with a 2Y chromosome. But uh, as the name indicates super males, but it does not have anything related with their characteristics. They are not superior or super than any normal male, but they are disadvantages actually. So they are very tall people, but most of them have got a criminal bent of mind. So we may not know, uh, In usually we may not identify them as a Jacob syndrome, but there was one study conducted among the criminals uh, in one jail and many of them found to be uh, having Jacob syndrome or one Y chromosome extra which might have led to that kind of criminal attitude in them. Hope you understand the concepts well. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Biology My Passion.